Hey everyone, how's it going? So just thought I'd share this little tip with you. I got it from Antonio. Um, I'll post a, a link to his channel down below. Um, he had watched my video about this air hammer and the, the quick change chuck. And like most chucks, I mean, once there's, see how it's easy to take on and off and same with this. But once you've got air going to it, it's a bit of a problem. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's just do that. All right. It's not too bad. But changing it here can be a problem. Taking it off of there. Different things. There's lots of... Re this is running really low on air, too. Let's just take that off. And now, I mean, his idea for, for doing this... And this I could see this working with a lot of different air tools, not just an air hammer is to put this in there between the air inlet and the, the tool itself so you can shut it on and off, which is a great idea. And it, it's great for if you have uh, air tools that, you know, that hiss and leak a little bit when you're using them. So they're laying on the ground, your, your impact or whatever, um, and the air is constantly leaking and your tank's always running. Just put one of these on the end of the air hose. So that's my plan. I'm not gonna attach directly to this. What I'm gonna do is attach this, which fits onto there like that okay let's just go over here to the vise Adjustable from over here. There we go. Tighten that up on there. Don't have to go crazy tight with it. Okay, that's that. Now on this end, I've already wrapped the fitting with Teflon tape here. So let's start. Not in there. Okay, and what that gives us is basically is an, an inline valve that we can use with any tool. Very handy. Just a little quarter inch ball valve. So let's bring you back over here. The air is shut off, so of course this will attach fairly easily. There we go. Air is shut off. Uh, let's make sure the air is on here. Air hose is on, so this should connect to here, no problem. There we go. Now we got no no power, no air. <laughs> Nothing. There we go. See, she works great. Shut it off. Nothing. And this can be used with, you know, pretty much any air tool you want. Impact, die grinder, whatever. No hissing, no problem. There you go. That's just a little tip I got from Antonio, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, like I said, it's a little different, but I thought I'd just make this so I could use it with multiple pneumatic tools. There you go. Handy dandy little thing. I think I paid like five bucks or something for the fitting this one i'd laying around but you can pick this up this won't cost more than 20 bucks to make 
And again, it's just a cobalt quarter inch ball valve. Pretty cool. I highly recommend the Ingersoll Rand air gun, uh, air hammer, sorry. The 114 GQC works really good. So that's it. Um, again, any questions or comments, just go ahead and ask me down below and I'll answer the best I can. Um, take care and check out Antonio's channel. He's a great guy. See you later.